With more speed and greater range being demanded from the electric motorcycles we ride today, most electric motorcycle manufacturers are ever more focusing on power output and the power to weight ratio they can squeeze from the bikes they're designing for tomorrow. Take for instance the EM Flux 1, that I'm sure not many of you will have heard of, but's now reached the end of its R&D stage and should be ready for the streets sometime in the second quarter of next year. Now although the Flux has a conservative max power of around 75 horsepower, being produced from its liquid-cooled EM Flux 3-phase AC induction motor, it can still quite happily accelerate from 0 to 100 miles per hour in a blistering 3 seconds and hit a limited top speed of 200 km an hour with no problem at all. So I'm sure some of you out there will be asking how they've managed to squeeze such performance from a bike that's limited to 60 kilowatts of peak power and 80 newton meters of torque, and so you should be. So to start with, the team for me and Motors, amongst other things, focused on shaving as much weight from the bike as possible, of course without losing any of the bike's great aesthetics. Ultra light carbon fibre body panelling and of course its lighter AC induction motor plus a whole host of other weight saving measures has all added up to the bike weighing in at just a pinch under 170 kilograms, giving it a great power to weight ratio that makes all the difference when it comes to the bike's sturdy performance. The Flux one shod with Pirelli Diablo Rosso 2 tyres and the braking's taken care of by a dual 300mm disc with a Brembo 4 piston dual radio caliper to the front and a single 200mm disc with a Brembo fixed caliper to the rear that all incorporate a dual channel ABS system. Energica have continued to surprise the biking community by producing yet more powertrain advances on some of the world's already most powerful electric production bikes. Now back in 2015 Energica dropped its power laden Evo onto the world's biking community and believe me he has picked up as this new electric bike boasted a whopping 145 horsepower with a max torque of 148 foot pounds and a 0 to 60 of 2.9 seconds. Then a couple of years down the line came the more powerful Ego Plus with a 0 to 60 of 2.8 seconds. However, Energica being who they are weren't happy with that, so just recently they unveiled their all new EMCE power plant that weighs less and is more efficient than its predecessor. But most importantly, it's being fitted to its new Ego RS and can produce a max 167 horsepower and a staggering 215 newton meters of torque that rockets you from 0 to 60 and get this, an arm wrenching 2.6 seconds. Now with four riding modes being Eco, Standard, Wet and Sport, apart from in the rain I guess we know where most of you will have this set, as if you do you can realise a limited top speed of 150 miles per hour. So just to put all that into perspective, when you compare it to our last bike, the EM Flux, that had a power to weight ratio of 420 horsepower per tonne, this new RS version with a curb weight of 260 kilograms and a max peak of 169 horsepower produces approximately 642 horsepower per tonne of raw madness. Now to help make sure you can get all this grunt transferred to the road, the Evo RS is shod with Pirelli Diablo Rosso 3 tyres, while the suspension is taken care of by a Marzocchi front 43mm fork and a Vituba Rio Mono, all which are adjustable for rebound and compression. And also to make sure all that power can be kept in check, the RS gets some decent stopping power provided by a Brembo double floating 330mm disc with a 4 pot radial caliper to the front and a Brembo single 240mm disc with a 2 pot caliper to the rear. Of course while the RS sports some impressive performance figures it can also handle an urban life with just as much confidence by achieving a range busting 420km of city miles if ridden conservatively. And when you combine that with an 80 5% charging time of around 30 minutes it's very unlikely that you'll ever get left high and dry and all the range anxiety that you often find comes with an electric bike starts to disappear. So when most of us think about electric bikes we think sports or scooters, however Evoke have just decided to veer from the norm and design an all electric cruiser that not only looks the part but has all the raw power and torque needed to keep up with the big boys. So we've opened those strangers to the electric motorcycle game with two already popular models being ridden on our streets as we speak. But with the release of the 6061 being scheduled for next year, they're certainly raising the bar with some mouth-watering performance. But just before we get into that, let's take a look at the rest of the bike. 
So first of all, Evoke have introduced its proprietary liquid-cooled battery pack and battery management system to its new 6061, which means its whopping 24.8 kilowatt battery can get an 80% charge in an astonishing, as they put it, 15 or so minutes. This is, of course, as long as you do have the 125 kilowatt DC fast charger to hand. However, if you can't lay your hands on one, the Evoke also comes with a 1.8 onboard charger for those of you that have time on your hands. Now the Evoke also has an all new twin plate 6061 aluminium laser cut frame design that gives you all the strength and rigidity of a traditional tubular frame but approximately 30 more battery space and of course an overall reduction in weight. Not to mention it kind of looks pretty cool as well. So the 6061 isn't exactly what you would call the lightest bike weighing in at a reported quite hefty 320 kilograms. And that's why, as you can imagine, it's going to need a pretty punchy power plant to get the thing going. And believe me, it has. Now getting to the nitty gritty of it, the 6061 is powered by a VS1200 liquid cooled motor that produces 120 kilowatts of peak torque or 160 horsepower that can be put down to the tarmac by way of a 200 by 55 by 17 tyre that will deliver an astounding 272 newton metres of torque, right from zero. So although we don't actually have a 0 to 60 on the bike yet, with all that instant power to hand, we're betting it's going to be somewhere up there. Now all bricks are taken care of by Gear 1, and the 6061 has a full colour TFT dash. Oh yeah, and just in case you were wondering, not only is this thing fast with a top speed of 230 km plus, with its larger than life 24.8 kilowatt hour battery pack, it can also get you 470 km away from home before it finally runs out of juice. After being slated for release back in 2020, the F77 from Ultraviolet has been on hold for a little while now. However, Ultraviolet says they're now back on track and are again taking pre-orders for the F77. So although the 77 doesn't have the raw power of some of today's other bikes, it certainly makes up for it in the price stakes. As at an around equivalent of $4,500, it's definitely got what it takes to turn heads while not lightening the load on your wallet too much. Now the bike has a very low curb weight of just over 150 kilograms, and with a max torque of 90 newton meters, it certainly feels like a bike that can play with the big boys, which means it has a power to weight ratio of 208 pounds per ton, and a max instant torque of 90 newton meters, that can get the F77 from a standing 0 to 60 kilometers an hour in just under 2.9 seconds, and will then carry on accelerating until it reaches its top speed of just over 150 kilometers an hour. Now yes, we know it's not as fast as some of the other bikes we've looked at today, but believe me, it's definitely going to be a whole lot of fun when it hits the streets sometime next year. And with 150 kilometres of range from its three removable battery packs, for a bike that costs just less than $4,500, we don't think that's all that bad. Now if you're into electric motorcycles or motorcycle tech, one of these two videos up here will probably be good for you to watch next. And don't forget, if you've enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want. My name's Bobby Max. Thanks for watching. I'm out of here.